Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for some more Minecraft. I'm here in a uh, beautiful castle town in Hyrule, just kind of heading around, uh, dropping by the shops, maybe play some mini games. But I need some rupees, I need some emeralds in order to, uh, to play anything. So I think I know of a little tucked away spot over here that we could hit up for a bit of money. But I gotta head on in over there. Uh, it's right near the gate here. And I figure that if I bust open some pots, I could get some, uh, some cash. So let's head on inside here. And here we go. Let's let's just break these pots and pick them up. And they're just just going out. Oh, there we go. That one had a rupee in it. So let's try to break a few more and see if we can get... Yep, we're getting a few rupees here. Bam, 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 bam. I can just hold down punch and just break these. And uh, no one's going to care because these are just storage. Uh, so, so anyways, this is a... Uh, a little trick thought up by DTV97. It's a YouTube user. user. Uh, he posted this on Reddit, but it's basically a way to smash pots or other items in the game, and it will give you back whatever you choose. And as you can see, I smashed a good amount there, but I got 19 rupees or emeralds back. I'm going to switch back into the normal texture pack. I just thought it would be appropriate to do a Zelda style here. And I'm going to uh, head down, and I can show you this little machine here. Let's go into creative. And uh, it's hidden right down below here. Just got to break through. There we go. I can turn shaders off as well. I just had that on for extra effect. And I can show you how to build this. It's a simple machine that uses command blocks to take one item and give you another in an interval. So as you can see, I smashed more pots than I got emeralds. But that means that some of them didn't technically have one in it. It's because it's intermittent here. So I can show you how to build this. Basically, you're going to remove one item and then give it. So let's head up here. And I'll build one outside where you can see it a little better uh, outside the storeroom. We'll go right out into Hyrule Field, why not? Okay, so uh, to build one of these, you're going to need to get rid of your Zelda-themed inventory. And you're going to need these items here, a comparator, a repeater, redstone dust, a torch, some type of block, and a command block. A lever is optional, but it's nice to be able to turn it off uh, when you have that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is set down a command block and you can do clear the slash clear command which gets rid of an inventory and you want to target all players within a radius of however many 30 is pretty good you can go go even farther if you want to encompass like a bigger radius so like all, pretty much anywhere in that little vicinity will hit it if it's like 50 blocks if you want to have a whole town you can go even farther it's going to remove whatever item that you want to put, and 390 is pots. I think pots work well because of, you know, RPGs and Zelda, where you can smash pots and get money, but also because players don't usually have them uh, in their inventory that much, because it's going to remove any pots in a player's inventory, so you want to be aware of that. Now you're going to put a little pattern like this, three blocks here, and then another over to the side, and you're going to need redstone torches. Bam, bam, you'll have to shift click to put that one and uh, bam there you go so you got three redstone torches and the next step is to put some redstone on top here and uh, let it go now I had my sound turned off so you couldn't hear so you're gonna want to build this in an area that uh, is out of the way because if you listen you can hear it burning out over and over so you want to you want to put this in a spot where uh, where players aren't gonna be able to hear it necessarily but if you have a huge radius you could hide this somewhere like over to the side in one of these extra buildings and then it could if you do a big enough radius it would hit this whole area anyways so it wouldn't matter too much okay so now that you got that going the next step is to put a comparator right here facing out and then also a repeater facing from this redstone torch out here and the longer the delay the more consistent it is you can, it'll kind of be better intermittent there and we're almost done here already put three blocks like so next to the comparator and the repeater, a redstone torch in front of both of those, and a redstone piece in the middle there. And then last, you need a redstone torch here, and your second command block. Now this one is going to give the near or all players within that area a uh, whatever item you want, and 388 is emeralds. So if this signal manages to pass through, basically, it will give, you know, whatever item that you want. So if I was to throw a flower pot in my inventory, it would instantly disappear and I would get an emerald. Uh, because it's kind of intermittent, if you pick up a few within a short time, 
or you have a stack, it, it might not give you it. It might give you one. See, I'm not. There we go. Now I got one. It, it has it like staggered. So it's basically like not every pot you break or that it takes will click and give you an emerald, which is pretty cool. It gives the illusion that like not every item that you break has emeralds in it. And if we were to do another data value, I don't know one offhand though. Uh, I forget what block is is uh, one or something but yeah you could basically you could take anything that's 380 or 390 which is the plot pots and put it as another block so if you wanted someone to like uh, pick up seeds off the ground like you can make it where if you break grass and there were seeds in them you pick up the seeds and it replaces that with an emerald so you could also that would be another zelda-esque one it's like hey i i broke some gra or sliced some grass and then there was a you know an emerald in there or whatever or a rupee Okay, but that's pretty much it. It's a very simple design, and this will this will work for a good radius depending on how far you want to do. But thanks again to uh, DTV97 for that, that little idea there. I thought it was really cool and wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed too. I'll see you guys next time for more Minecraft. Goodbye.